Lucknow, former Chief Minister of Bihar, Karpuri Thakur, has been conferred with the nation's highest honour, the Bharat Ratna, that was announced yesterday by the President of India. The award comes 35 years after his death. He died on the 17th of February 1988, popularly known as Jan Nayak. Karpuri Thakur was in office twice, once for a brief period of six months between 1970 and 71, and then again between 1977 and 79. The decision is politically significant as Karpuri Thakur was a tall socialist leader. Uh, born in the Baba community, one of the most backward uh, castes of uh, Bihar. The announcement comes uh, just uh, to coincide with his 100th uh, birth anniversary, uh, which is uh, being marked today. And uh, it's uh, Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar who will also be holding a rally today in Patna. And uh, well, uh, the Prime Minister there also uh, marking uh, the occasion of the 100th birth anniversary of the former Chief Minister of Bihar said that he was delighted that he was awarding uh, India, that he will be awarded India's highest civilian honour to mark his uh, birth centenary. He also wrote a tribute uh, article on uh, the political leader in which he said he never got the opportunity to meet him, but uh, how he described him with the two pillars of uh, uh, that surrounded him and revolved around him, which included simplicity and social justice. Uh, his last breath, he uh, his simple lifestyle, his humble nature resonated deeply with the common man is uh, what uh, uh, the Prime Minister has uh, gone on uh, to put in a message on X. Uh, we also have uh, my colleague Vasuda joining us to get us more on this. Uh, Vasuda, the centre's recognition uh, for the state's first non-Congress Chief Minister meets a long-standing demand of Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar and his Janata Dal United. Well, uh, he, he, you know, Nitish Kumar, they're very happy there. Of course, he's also going to be holding a rally. He celebrates uh, uh, Karpuri Thakur's birthday every year. So this is his 100th uh, uh, birth anniversary. But, uh, you know, the RJD and JDU both set to celebrate uh, the birth centenary, but the RJD has gone on to uh, call this uh, a political gimmick by the BJP. Of course, uh, uh, Divya and the Prime Minister has also written a very big, very nice article on Karpuri Thakur's legacy, like you mentioned. And in that, he mentions two beautiful anecdotes where he says that it was during uh, the tenure of uh, Karpuri Thakur as the Chief Minister that a policy was put in place to allot land for politicians. But it was actually very magnanimous of Mr. Thakur himself that he didn't take land for himself. So when he died in 1988 and people went to his house, they saw uh, the shanty, they, they saw the shabby conditions that he was living in. And they realize uh, what, what a man of integrity that he was. So uh, the Prime Minister says as a backward person himself he has a lot to thank Mr. Uh, Thakur for. He also talks about how Chandra Shekhar, the former uh, Prime Minister had once, you know, in, in the uh, you know celebrations of the birth anniversary of uh, uh, J.P. Nayak had basically talk, asked people to crowdsource money to, um, you know, uh, fund uh, Karpuri Thakur's clothes because he used to wear torn clothes and, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Thakur took all that money and then give it, gave it to the CM's relief fund. So so I think the Prime Minister's article today also, uh, you know, sums up the legacy of uh, Karpuri Thakur, something that has an imprint on all the policies of Nitish Kumar, be it Cycles for Girls or his prohibition. And uh, Mr. Thakur was also the first to implement the Mungeri Lal Commission, which basically had support us for OBCs. He was the person who first came up with this most backward class commission, uh, you know, this this most backward class, not, uh, you know, uh, nomination or nomenclature. And the EBC followed uh, from there. So clearly, it is a very important political uh, moment for the RJD, for the JDU, and for the BJP because uh, you know there are strains within the NDA alliance, with the within the India India alliance, and you know that Nitish Kumar has also been quite upset with uh, you know his own party leaders for moving towards RJD. And if you look at the tweet, like you rightly pointed out, Nitish Kumar has thanked the Prime Minister while the RJD has uh, looked at politics into it. You know, it has said that this is a political move and it is coming very close to elections. So clearly, very different approach by JD JDU and uh, uh, you know RJD in this whole thing but uh, of course uh, this is coming before elections so this is a, a you know message being sent out to the entire OBC community the most uh, right. prominent community the non yadav uh, OBCs and EBCs which have vocally voted for Nitish Kumar this is a message by the BJP that it really uh, takes their right. icons very seriously and their politics and their welfare very seriously right uh, thank you so much Vasada for getting us all those details